Chapter on what has been related about loving for the sake of Allah. Mu'adh bin Jabal narrated that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Allah, the Mighty and Sublime, said, Those who love each other for the sake of my majesty shall be upon podiums of light, and they will be admired by the prophets and the martyrs. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments To love someone for no other reason than for the sake of Allah's might and majesty, a distinctive hallmark of a true believer, is an act that wins the approval and appreciation of Allah and endears the concerned individuals to Him, so that they will be placed on podiums of light whose enchanting beauty shall even draw the admiration and envy of the prophets and martyrs, although their own ranks would be much higher and superior to those individuals. Hafs bin Asim narrated from Abu Huraira or Abu Sa'id that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Seven shall be shaded by Allah under his shade on a day in which there is no shade except his shade. A just Imam, a young person raised upon worshipping Allah, a man whose heart is attached to the masjid when he leaves from it until he returns to it, two men who love each other for Allah's sake, coming together upon that, and parting upon that. A man who remembers Allah in privacy and his eyes swell with tears. A man invited by a woman of status and beauty, but he says, I fear Allah, mighty and sublime is he. And a man who conceals the charity he gives such that his left hand does not know what his right hand has spent. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments the seven human qualities or attributes recounted in the hadith are so loved and valued by Allah that, on the day of judgment, when there will be no shade, Allah will provide those faithful servants of His with the shade of the arsh, Allah's throne. The shade provided by this throne has been described as Allah's own shade in order to bestow honor upon it. It is like the Kaaba, the first man-made structure on earth raised for the worship of Allah alone being called the House of Allah, Tuhfat al-Ahwadi, Volume 3, page 283.